doing a little HVAC paleontology today. I'm out here doing no cool call and came across this dinosaur. Actually two of them. But that one hasn't ran in a while. It looks like it got replaced with that uh, that duckless over there a while ago. But uh, this is the one I'm working on today. Let's see if I can get you in here. There you go. 1984, baby. She's been around the block. No maintenance done on it. Just left out here to her own devices. But, uh, yeah, 1984. Appears to have original compressor in it. Hell, appears to have the original contactor in it by the looks of it. And, uh, probably an original defrost control. Looks like an old like E15 control, but only thing that looks like it's been swapped out is that condenser fan motor up there. Let's see, we got a separate dual run 7.5. This looks to be our problem right here. Swole up 35. Sure, we can see it 35. So. I'm just going to put in this 3575 dual run and get rid of both of those. <clears throat> this was sitting in there. Just uh, the original fan motor, I'm assuming. But we'll swap out this dual run and uh, maybe we'll get this beast to fire back up and run some more. Well, the old BDP comes back to life again. Took out our capacitors. You can see our compressor cap was uh, pretty swollen. And like I said before, we just took this 7.5 out that went to that fan. And I just popped in a 35.75 uh, dual run. Just kind of cleaned it up in there, strapped her up. And uh, yeah, she fired up super smooth. In fact, she sounds a lot quieter than this uh, this Goodman that I'm sitting next to. But uh, yeah, 1984, she's still running. Recommended changing that uh, burn up original contactor in there, but they just want to get this thing running, get it cooling in there. They know this thing's on some borrowed time. You can see that uh, muffler back there is rusted out pretty good, but. Uh, yeah, she fired back up nice and smooth, so I was going to hook up the uh, the 550s on this thing, but these are old ports here, and they're facing each other, so if I happen to have a valve core leaking, uh, sort of being a little predicament there, so because they're so close together, you can't get your core tool in there effectively, so I'm just going to take some temperatures, do a little non-invasive check, check the temp drop, that kind of stuff, and... Uh, yeah, just make sure it's cooling like it was before, but they know it's on borrowed time. They're going to be putting in some ductless here very soon. So, uh, yeah, we'll let her run. Amp draws and everything look good, so I'm happy with that. But, uh, yeah, 1984 and still kicking it. So, there you go, guys. Probably last longer than this Goodman will. <laughs>